What I am not enjoying is what's going on with the Yankees and the umpires. Now, we can talk about the weekend series all you want. We can talk about CC Sabathia looking like he just doesn't have anything left. We can talk about James Paxton continuing to be an issue. We can talk about rebuilding trust in Masahiro Tanaka and his ability in the postseason. What we really need to talk about right now is the Yankees' issues with the umpires. And look, I get it. You know, fans love to see it. They love to see the screaming and yelling with the umpires at home plate. They love to see Aaron Boone go nuts. They love to see Brett Gardner, you know, acting like a bit of a jackass, to be honest. They love all of it. But I got to tell you, this is a major issue for the Yankees right now because the reputation has been built that they are difficult on the umpires. Let's go back a few weeks to when Aaron Boone first got thrown out and started with the effing savages line. Now, that was with a home plate umpire that was a call-up, a, a guy who was a vacation replacement, and he was all over him in the first inning and got tossed out of the game. And, of course, we know what happened, how the video went viral, how T-shirts showed up everywhere. Our guys at Rotoware, who do a great job, had that right out of the gate. No problem. They've even got savages in the booth with outlines of John and Susan right now on T-shirts. But those T-shirts are being sold in Yankee Stadium, too. They've got their own version of it. So that's problem number one. Then you got complaints just continuing to come. Brett Gardner slamming his bat up against the ceiling of the dugout a few weeks back. That didn't go over well with the umpires. And all you had to do was hear this weekend from them that, yeah, that was a bit of an issue. They feel like that is showing them up. And you go into what's going on now. You have to be careful if you're Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone is setting the wrong tone here. He's the one making this mistake to begin with, and some of the players are following suit. Because when you get out there and you're screaming and yelling at umpires, and another one who was a call-up uh, the other day, and you got Dan Iasonia, who Dan Iasonia is one of the not good umpires, okay? He will throw anybody out of a game at any point. He is not a good umpire. And we know who the, the guys are, the C.B. Buckners, the Angel Hernandez's. We know all of that. But you know what? These guys, they're doing their best, and I'm not trying to defend everything. We know how many bad calls there are, but more often than not, they get it right. And most of them, most of them are not Joe West. They're not trying to get your attention all the time. Most of them understand what their job is. And yeah, it does get entertaining when you see somebody kick dirt and get so upset. I had a friend who back in the day called minor league games on an awful baseball team, and it was 150 degrees, and there was a, his team was losing 8 nothing in the first inning. And the manager of that team goes out screaming and yelling about a bad call at second base, up and down, left and right, just wouldn't let it go, screaming, trying to get thrown out of the game. And the umpire is just sitting there and letting him go. And finally, the umpire just says one thing, and the manager shuts up and turns around and walks to the dugout. What did he say to the manager? If I have to stand out here in 120-degree heat and watch your horse blank team play, so do you. So I'm not throwing you out. Umpires know what they're doing for the most part. But the Yankees are creating a reputation as being very difficult to deal with. Look at yesterday. Look at some of the strikes. Look at the strikes that were called immediately after more hubbub. You are not getting benefits of doubts, and it was clear. It couldn't be any clearer that the umpires are getting sick and tired of it. How do you feel? How do you think that the umpires' union feels that at Yankee Stadium they are celebrating the embarrassment, the public embarrassment of an umpire with the Savages t-shirts. It's one thing for outside companies to make them. It's another thing for it to be sold in the stadium. That is a direct insult 
You were in the middle of embarrassing a kid that was a call-up umpire who may not have had a great first inning, but you're embarrassing him. And Aaron Boone comes out later and says, I have to be better than that. And then he did it again a couple of weeks later. Oh, we don't want to set a bad tone with the umpires. Well, you are. You are. And that can cost you when the postseason comes around. You think they got short memories? You think they're not human? You know, and and by the way, this is not a group, while they are excellent, excellent players, there are guys here that are not Barry Bonds at the plate as far as knowing the strike zone. Cameron Mabin may not get a call. That should not be a news flash to Cameron Mabin. Because here's the news flash. You're Cameron Mabin. You are a journeyman. You may not get a close call. Shocker. You know, think about everything that that goes on. And then you've got Brett Gardner. You know, this team has been very likable all year long. I'm sorry, Brett Gardner's acting like a jackass. He is. By slamming the bat up into the roof, you look like a petulant child. And then, yeah, sorry, it extends to number 99. Aaron Judge yesterday starts uh, with the celebratory bat motion toward the roof, which, by the way, not the best motion to be going with because that could be misconstrued as meeting something else. But he starts doing that. So that's going to be your celebration now for a team every time you get a base hit and come through like other teams do. Again, the embarrassment of an umpire. That's how they take it. How do you think that's going to go over, Aaron? That's not thinking. The Yankees right now have to get out of their own way when it comes to this, and they have to shut this down. Shut it down. Because you're going to end up costing yourself. You got a day off today. You should come out in the next few days. Hey, we've been out of line with this. This is something we have to get better with. These guys are trying to do their jobs. It's not like they've been killing them post-game, but they haven't gone out of their way to apologize to them. These are guys that right now, as as Sean Marash pointed out earlier to us during during the meeting, our pre-show meeting, that have the idea of robotic cameras and, and calling balls and strikes, breathing down their throats or breathing down their necks. The possibility of, you know, robots taking over as umpires, period in a few years, and their jobs could be gone. And as McMonagall said, Aaron Boone has been way overprotective of some of these guys. You know, they're big boys. And I know in today's day and age, we all want our guys to feel good, and we all want our guys to feel like our manager has their back. But come on. We're going over the edge here. And mark my words, you don't fix this, This is going to be an issue. Big spot in the postseason. Close play. Is there a chance you don't get the benefit of the doubt with a call? You're damn right there is. You're damn right there is. Yankees have to fix this. I'd take the Savages t-shirts right off the the shelves if I were them. You know, it's one thing, like I said, when it's somebody else, you're selling them in the ballpark. That's a mistake. You're printing money to begin with. It's a little low brow. Have a little respect for the job the guys do. And look, I'll be the first to tell you, there are so many bad ones. Guys that just cannot stomach watching. I can't. We all can't. They want to make it about them. The majority of them, truth is, are good ones, and they don't deserve that. They don't deserve it. 877-337-6666. Let's go. We'll get on board with that right away. We've got plenty to get to for the Mets later on as well. 